Humans hunt for money. Creatures hunt for survival. Humans hunt for money, while creatures hunt for survival. This is a very important poem. Are poems important? I didn't know that. Whatever, um, but um, I have to give myself a degree of poetry. Hello and welcome to our channel. We are here to educate you on nature's wildlife and stop people from destroying nature. And so, today we are going to talk about giant otters. I will explain everything about them in a minute, like I always do. So, as you can see, I have got, I have researched a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, everyone has to research. And I figured out about the rarest animal in the Amazon region. And here it is. The giant R. Let's do it. Okay, so basics. They are length 1.1 meter, and that's the adult. And mass is 24 kilograms, and that's two for an adult. Easy. Let's move on to the scientific name. The scientific name of a giant otter is Pteronura brasiliensis. Sounds like Brazil and Brazil, and it's uh, some kind of company. It's really hard to spell. These creatures also eat crustaceans, small snakes, and fish. And an example of fish is the very toothy piranha. I don't know how to do it. Okay, now let's see population 1,000 to 5,000. Well, but how are they the rarest mammal then? Let's find out. So it turns out these creatures are the rarest mammals in the Amazon rainforest. Same to same as Amazon region. You can call it both. And it turns out too that uh, all the other mammals must be, uh, must be more popular in the Amazon rainforest. Well, so they don't get any respect. So, these creatures belong to the family of Mastelidae, meaning belong to the family of weasels. And now, there's a very, uh, very common feature that you need when you're traveling in the Amazon rainforest. It's the power to be amphibious. And it just reminds me of one of my personal videos. Here, click at this icon for you to watch this video. I will leave it in the description below too. And just a quick reminder, what is amphibious? Well, amphibious means that it's athletic on land and in the water. So, they must be good swimmers and good runner, good runners. Okay, you already noticed, but I am going to say it again. They live in South America, something new, and in the Amazon rainforest, something that is not new. Well, for the video. So now, I'm going to say the best and the most shocking part of this creature. This creature is so brave that it can take on caimans 
and even jaguars. That's a really brave creature. But, as always, they don't win uh, most of the times. Sometimes, actually. But, and sometimes, um, caimans and jaguars become um, giant otter spreaders and, you know, the rest. But, if they're in a pack, let's say six or seven members in the pack, then they can surely take on caimans and jaguars. Because, you know, they are good swimmers, can tackle caimans in water. Good runners th can take on jaguars on land. Settled. The predators of giant otters are caimans, jaguars, and I think, or I'm, I don't think, I know it, that snakes, like for example, I, I say the green anaconda. By the way, it's the biggest snake in the world. Beside being the, rare, the rarest mammal in the entire Amazon region, they are also the biggest and largest otters in the world. Well, not the biggest weasels, but the biggest otters. And in, in the otters, you know what I mean, uh, there too includes the river otter, which is a little small, smaller than the giant otter. Well, it's kind of getting confusing. Don't worry. How long do giant otters live? Answer, 12 years. Giant otters live 12 years in the wild and up to 21 years in captivity. Meaning, uh, if they are taken good care of and are well and don't have any diseases, then they can live up to 21 years. At least that's what at least that's what scientists think they live in. Giant otters are also very playful and are also very curious. They snort like, oh, I can't snort, I'm sorry. But they uh, do snort and, uh, and that's why because they are so curious. And when it is resolved, the curiosity, then they stop uh, snorting and if, it, if the thing that has uh, been curious to them is friendly, then they become friends with it. And so that brings us to the end of another video. I hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe and hit the like button and share with your friends so they can too learn about this funny, curious, and very, very strong and brave creature called the giant otter. And I will see all of you in the next video.